It's prizes. These are the things that you take when you knock out Pokemon. They are prizes. It's not prices. They are prizes with a Z. Prizes. I just got back from the Toronto Regional Championships where I was able to finish in the top 32 out of over a thousand players with my beloved Mew VMAX deck. I talked about the deck at length on stream, and if you want to hear all about it, you can check out my new YouTube channel, Tricky Jim VODs, where I upload all of my stream VODs in their entirety. I'll drop the link to yesterday's stream in the description below if you want to hear more about my tournament run. In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite strategies in the Pokemon TCG, Dynamotor. Joel Suryati was able to finish second place at the Brisbane Regional Championships with a really cool Dynamotor Toolbox deck. I've got my own take on the deck that I'm stoked to show off, but before we get to it, let's head over to FullGripGames.com. FullGripGames.com is the best place to buy Pokemon trading card game singles and sealed product. We've got super fast shipping and top-notch grading. You really won't find better service anywhere than at FullGripGames.com. We've also got a buy list. So if you've got extra cards lying around your house, maybe crowding up your kitchen table, then you gotta check out the Full Grip Games buy list where we are always buying Pokemon cards. Thank you so much for shopping at FullGripGames.com. Now, let's check out that Dynamotor deck. The main idea of this deck is to set up a bunch of Flaffy and then use its Dynamotor ability to attach lightning energy from your discard pile to your benched Pokemon. Now there's a lot of different attackers to choose from in this deck, but probably the coolest one is Zekrom from Vivid Voltage with its Wild Shock attack. For two lightning and a colorless energy, it does 130 damage and 60 damage to itself, but it leaves the defending Pokemon paralyzed, which means that they won't be able to attack or retreat during the next turn. And if your opponent isn't able to switch out of that paralysis to heal the Pokemon, it means that they're stuck there and you're going to get another turn to attack. Now, after a few Wild Shocks, you will eventually knock yourself out, which is why I'm playing four copies of Scoop Up Net in this deck. You can use Scoop Up Net to heal your Zekrom. You do have to discard all of the lightning energy attached to it in order to do this, but with Dynamotor, you can charge that lightning energy right back into play and continue paralyzing. Zekrom goes really well with Regieleki from Evolving Skies and its Terra Spark attack, which does 120 damage and 40 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. It also pairs well with Snorlax and its Thumping Snore attack, which does 180 damage. By throwing these single prize Pokemon at your opponent and paralyzing them, you can put them in some really compromising situations. Now, if you ever want to take some big one-hit KOs, Raikou V and Raichu V can both do that. Raikou V can take knockouts on lightning weak Pokemon like Palkia V-Star and Lugia V-Star, and Raichu V can knock out anything in the Pokemon TCG with its dynamic spark attack, which requires that you discard any amount of lightning energy from your Pokemon in play, and it does 60 damage times the amount of energy you discarded. So after a few attacks with Zekrom, you might decide, okay, I've had enough, I've got a lot of energy in play, I can retreat and dynamic spark for over 300 damage to take the game winning knockout. I'm stoked to show off this deck in action, so check out the gameplay ahead and let me know what you think of this Dynamotor Toolbox deck in the comments below. Playing against Mew VMAX with our Dynamotor Toolbox deck, and we're going second. We got a pretty decent opening hand with an Ultra Ball, Scoop Up Nets, and Research, so we can dig into the deck and try to find some more basic Pokemon so that we don't get run off the board. They're gonna, you know, fusion strike system and do all that nice stuff, draw some cards, try to establish more basic Pokemon. 
They want to get up to six Fusion Strike Pokemon in play on the first turn of the game so that they can start using Fusion Strike system to draw up until they have six cards in their hand. That is the dream, I think. They got Genesect, and they'll Fusion Strike system again. For three, put them up to five. And there's Oracorio, so they can draw to six. I'm thinking that I want to go for Gormandai's Snorlax off of this Ultra Ball, because it really helps you to be able to fill your hand to seven. And also not to lose any meaningful Pokemon on the first turn of the game, right? We can hide behind the Snorlax. Like, look how this allows us to play our hand so aggressively. I really like that. We can Ultra Ball. Let's Quick Ball away Quick Ball. And we're going to go get Snorlax number two. And then let's do that. And we'll Ultra Ball. It'd be tough if they hit me with the old Echoing Horn, but they won't do that. They would never do that. Put down Mareep and Gorman dies for seven brand new cards. That's great. Now we're looking like we're gonna be ready to swing with Snorlax this next turn, which is good. I mean, it does 180 damage. Can one hit KO Mew V, can almost KO Genesect V, but there is Oracorio out. So actually I'm not one hit KOing any of these guys since Oracorio's lesson in zeal makes it so their fusion strike Pokemon take 20 less damage from attacks. So we can soften up these dudes with Snorlax. Snorlax doing 160 damage. And then maybe we can use Reggie Alecki to finish them off later in the match. Certainly a possibility. Lost City could be a little bit of a nuisance for me since it puts my Pokemon to the Lost Zone. Sometimes I want to be able to recover them with Ordinary Rod. And Judge is also a major nuisance because I'm trying to draw cards, not lose them. So that's annoying. But that's one of the things that's really strong about this Judge Mew deck is that you can just set your opponent to a four-card hand every turn, which is exhausting. You really don't want that to happen. They're going to double cross switcher my Mareep. And they found their double turbo energy. So they can cross fusion strike techno blast for knockouts on my Mareep. Send it to the lost zone. Not cool. Yeah, that's that's a tough one. But that's okay. Maybe I can attack with Snorlax this turn. We will see. Mareep off to the Lost Zone. Let's promote this guy and get into it. Top deck research. Love that. Let's go get Radiant Greninja. Concealed cards to see a couple extra cards. We've got Flaffy. And I can Quick Ball for another Mareep. And we'll research. Cool. That's nice. I get to attack. Let's Dynamotor. And Dynamotor. And then I don't want my Pokemon to get Lost Zoned anymore. I could body slam. Anybody trying to mess around and see a body slam? Y'all forgot about body slam, didn't you? 
All right, I think I'm cool. I'm going to save my energy to help me draw with Radiant Greninja. Swing for 160 damage. And that's right. My Snorlax is staying woke. But that's okay. Probably going to get knocked out anyways. 160 damage on the Mew, though. Feels pretty good. The best thing that they could do is Psychic Leap to get this Mew healed up. That would be... That'd be pretty bad for me. Yeah, if they could, like, Double Cross Switcher Mareep, Power Tablet, Fusion Strike, Copy Psychic Leap. And with a card like Forest Seal Stone, which basically lets Mew do whatever it wants, that is certainly a possibility. That's not even asking a lot. Forest Seal Stone gets you whatever you want. Kramomatic can get you whatever you want if you flip a heads. So here's Switch. Now it's just Switch Boss Power Tablet. That's all you need. The Switch has been used. Now I'm thankful that they used the Switch. And I'm thinking that this list is looking pretty similar to the list that I played at the Toronto Regional Championships. I mean, it's I'm starting to think that maybe I know the counts here. So if, if I do know the counts, then that's the only switch that this deck plays, which means that Paralysis could be a viable option to stick my opponent at the end of the game with Zekrom. And here's Double Cross Switcher again. You see? Okay. So with another double cross switcher, that means my opponent has used all of their switches. They've used switch and they've used both sets of double cross switcher, which means that I'm good to start paralyzing. They do hit Silene though. So maybe they're going to put... Ah, oh, Lost City. They're going to Lost Zone again? Poof. Sheesh. Okay, they're going to Lost Zone all my sheep. Thank you, Montobi, for that Prime sub. This is stressful, but it's fine. I ain't worried about it. We're okay. And here we go, sending my Flaffinator to the... And they got the Psychic Leap knockout. Oh, God. All right, it's, it's starting to become not fine. But I, I still think maybe we're still fine. But it's certainly starting to feel more and more not fine. Thank you, Elok, for that Prime sub. Yo, any Primers in the chat? Thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, this is, this is bad. We're going to use Concealed Cards, draw two more cards. We find Marnie and Ultra Ball. So, I'm thinking that we scoop up Net, this Snorlax, and we Ultra Ball away Manaphy and Snorlax. And we go get our other Flaffy. And I desperately, I mean desperately, need these Flaffies to not get sent to the Law Zone. That's for sure. Okay. Let's try this again. Concealed cards one more time. Draw two more. We've got Research and Raichu. Let's Dynamotor. Dynamotor one to the Radiant Greninja. And we'll Thumping Snore. This feels bad. Because with the damage decrease, I'm not necessarily going to be able to finish this off with Reggie Alecki. However, I know that they are out of switches. So I think that Zekrom should be able to help bring this game home. I've also got the Raichu. They don't know that I have Raichu in the list. I haven't shown them the Raichu yet. So Raichu could be a way to take a big one-hit KO on a Mew VMAX for game or something. 
I really don't want to waste this boss's orders. I feel like I need to be careful with it. Huh. I've only got nine cards left in my deck as well. So, it's sketchy. I mean, yeah, we're it. we're just in a sketchy spot. That Lost City is going to put some of my guys away also. I could go for boss's orders and just see if I can get them to start running out of resources. Echoing Horn, who is it? Oh, not Raikou. No, leave him be. Oh, and you're going to gust up my Raikou? All right, you're actually you're going to take four prizes? Oh, my gosh. All right, so then you'll have two prizes remaining. I don't think that I can possibly win. Let's see. What's the energy count? You've got one double turbo in the discard pile. That's it, and one in play. So you still have two double turbo energies left. Holy moly. Mew is broken. It's so broken. Such a broken deck, dude. That's why I keep playing it. It's so good. They're going to pal pad back in Silene and Boss's orders. That way they can't run out of switch. All right, there goes Raikou. Hmm. I need Zekrom bad, but I don't have it. So. There's Zekrom. But do I have two lightning in the discard pile? Yes. All right, so I have to try and do this. It's my only shot, and I need them to double tail Silene. Okay, all right, we can do this. Let's go. Come on. Wild shock. We can do it. They just need to not have Silene. That's a big hand. They might not even be able to draw. And I could Wild Shock again. You don't need Emergency Jelly in this deck because you have Scoop Up Net, so you just do that, and then you Dynamo her again. It's very easy. You don't need Emergency Jelly. Scoop Up Net just works better. because you don't care about discarding your energy because Dynamotor puts it right back into play. So what we're looking to do, we're looking to paralyze the Mew one more time. And then we are looking to knock it out with Snorlax. And then you're about to discard your Silene right here. Guaranteed. If you even think about it, you're going to discard your Silene. If they find the Silene, I need them to double tails. Now you played all of your switch cards very aggressively. Double tails. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Yes! All right, so let's go. Now I think we're in there. So what we need is to wild shock one more time. I don't think that I should poke a stop. It seems like kind of a trap. Yeah, I don't have a lot of cards left in my deck. I don't know if you noticed, but that's fine. We'll wild, we'll wild shock one more time. So they're stuck. 
I don't know that it's worth it to bump the stadium. I don't care if the, if they want to poke a stop themselves, they can. They might deck out. So they have to pass. And then we've got Serena. Okay. So I know they cannot switch. Do we just take this knockouts with Snorlax? That's fine. But I know they have a boss in their deck. That's fine. We're going to retreat. Put some energy back. That's fine. And let's put that out. And we'll thumping snore. Okay, so we're going to take our three prizes. We've got another Serena, our rod, and a lightning energy. Gosh, that Snorlax is that Snorlax is awake, eyes peeled. So here's what here's what the situation is. Here's the situation. Huh. They've got Mew V Max. They've got seven cards left in deck. They've got a Mew on their bench. I've got three prizes left to take. They are going to judge, which most certainly gives me a win condition because I'm going to be able to just come screaming in with this Raichu. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six times six, 36. That's it. So that's it. That's game. Glistening droplets. No. Oh, well, you still lose. Because now I just, yeah. <laughs> We're chilling. You still lose, buddy. Game over. You didn't think I was going to have it like this, did you? <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't think it was going down quite like this. We retreat. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six times six, 360 damage with Raichu. And that's three prizes for the game, baby. GG's. I like Raichu in the deck, especially for cards like uh, Duraludon or whatever. Yeah, we're going to start right too. I could also retreat into Snorlax, so that's fine. Okay, we are up against Mew VMAX with our Lightning Toolbox deck. I could fast charge turn one with Raichu, but that uh, seems a little bit sketchy. It might be the best play I have, though. So let's bench Zekrom, attach this Lightning Energy, Ultra Ball away, Marnie, and this Lightning Energy, go get a Sheep. And we will fast charge to go get another Lightning Energy into play. And we'll see if my opponent is playing the Fusion Strike version of Mew. The Mew version that plays Elisa Sparkle and Meloetta, or if they are playing the double turbo only version of Mew. Because if they are playing the double turbo only version, then they can't attack my Raichu on turn one. But if they are playing the double turbo version, they cannot attack. 
So we're kind of hoping that they're playing the double turbo version since I happen to open my Raichu V, which I'm not super duper thrilled about. But let's see how their turn unfolds. Switch cart, lost vacuum, not giving me a lot of information there. Next turn, if they don't get out Oricorio, I mean, I can do some damage with Dynamic Spark. For sure. So if they are playing the double turbo version, then I can take a knockout with Dynamic Spark next turn. I can attach an energy, Dynamotor an energy, and just do 240 damage turn two. So that's pretty good. But it looks like they are playing the Meloetta version, which is pretty bad for us. In fact, if they take a knockout on my Raichu turn one, I think I lose. But, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. They've got two Meloetta. Boy, sheesh. That's something else. But hopefully their hand jams up with all those fusion energy, you know, because that deck plays too many fusion energy. See, they can only... All right, they're only drawing two. Come on. That's going to be a jammed hand. I know it. Yeah, you're jamming for sure. No way you got the Elisa Sparkle. You got three fusion energy in that hand, Marnie. All right, we're fine. Totally fine. See? Dodged. No issue whatsoever. Great hand off the Marnie, too. Love to see it. So now we've got a Flaffinator. We've got Stormy Montagna. And... I guess I should... Just dynamic spark this Meloetta. Alternatively, I could go for the gust on Mew to knock it out. Which, but then in order to go for the gust on Mew, I also would have to go get my Crobat. I probably hit it, to be honest. If I go for it, I probably hit it. Um,. Yeah, let's go for it. We'll quick ball. Let's go get the Crobat. And we'll Stormy Mountains. Get another fella out. And Dark Asset for six. See? Told you we'd hit it. Let's... Bosses orders up the Mew. Attach this here. Dynamotor to the Zekrom. And keep the air balloon. Let's dynamic spark, and we're going to discard Uno Dos Trace, Quattro Cinco Cinco Seis. There we go. Got it. 180 damage. Take our two prizes. That feels pretty good. But... I've got this Crobat on my board now, which I don't love. It is a big liability. They've got the option to attack with Meloetta. They will definitely knock out my Raichu with Meloetta to tie it up at four to four prizes. I'll go up with Zekrom. We'll knock out their Meloetta with Zekrom. That's the thing. Now that we're at this point, the Meloettas are fine for me to deal. I would rather deal with Meloettas than deal with Mu V Max because I know I'm trading one for one. And I've already initiated the trade. So, that's fine. All I need to do is finish off Genesect for game. So, I think what we want to do is we want to attack with... We want to attack with our um, Snorlax. That would seem pretty good. I do also have the ability to gust up a Genesect. I mean, I could gust up a Genesect and try to paralyze it. If I can do that, I mean, we'd be in a pretty insane spot. But I bet you they play, like, quite a few switches. So I'm not really thinking that that's going to be something that 
sticks for us. They could also just be playing like one or two switch cards, but I don't think that that's necessarily what they're doing. If I do 130 damage to a Genesect, I think that that could be bad for us. I think so. Because the, the math doesn't really check out anywhere. I could, it's true, I could use Raikou V to go knock out Mew. That's true. That is true. We've got air balloons, so I've got options. Let's see what we want to do. If I want to go Raikou, I could trade two for two again, but then I'm going to have to... But I'm going to lose the trade two to two war. I think... Oh, I could just knock out the Mew with this thing. That's cool. Let's just do that. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do that. That seems fine. Sure. And then I guess in order to win the game, I just need to find my Raikou to gust a Genesect. That would be sick. And then I also would need to find like, you know, a gust card. But it's cool. We'll totally find a gust card. All right. Serena Bring up this guy. It's go time, Snorlax. Thump and snore. 180 damage. Take our two prizes. We got Manaphy and Snorlax. So now in order to... I mean, I'm kind of chilling. I think I just kind of win. Because if they gust up my Crobat, they tie it up at 2-2. Two to two, And then I just go knock out with Snorlax... And yeah, yeah, I just kind of win at this point, which is nuts. Yep, we're just in there. Easy dubski. Like I said, I'd rather be up against these Meloettas than be up against a Mew VMAX. Mew VMAX is scary because it can soak a hit and then it can psychic leap. And that is not great. Now, getting rock sand is also not great, but that's fine. I don't care. I got what I need. They're going to bench another Mew, and it looks like they're just going to pressure my attacker, which is fine because I got a, I got a backup attacker right here on board. Top deck boss for win? No, unfortunately not. Okay, it's fine. But this is where we could lose. It's Dynamotor. This is where we could lose just because of Roxanne. If they can like go up with a Mew V Max at the end. Which is why I'm saving my Zekrom, because maybe I can paralyze the Mew V Max. Take our prize. It's a scoop up net. Doesn't help us a lot. Snorlax is sleeping. They have path down, but it doesn't really affect anything. Because I can't use any abilities. My Greninja's not out. I got nothing. So here's the Mew VMAX. They definitely have switches in their deck. Right? They, de they have to. Though their Fusion Mew list is looking... They got a lot of cards in this Fusion Mew list that don't necessarily fit in the Fusion Mew list. So maybe they cut on switches. And they're not going to counter their own path. So I'll promote Flaffy. Gus for game? No, unfortunately not. They've got two prizes left. I have to go for Wild Shock. That Roxanne is really hurting me right now. I literally have 31 cards in my deck. But if they if they somehow do not have a switch, 
I I can win. But they need to not have a switch. But these decks always have a counter to path. It's, they're built to have that. But that's what we're hoping. I can scoop up net. I can keep the Zekrom moving forever. I can use Wild Shock twice, scoop up net, Dynamotor. They have a scape rope, right? So that's, that is quite bad for me. If they have Gust, they just win the game. We'll promote Flaffy. Boss's orders are Serena and they win. But it looks like maybe they don't have it. Okay. They're going to pass. And I get the research. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay. If I find Ordinary Rod and Raichu, I win. If I find Ordinary Rod, I win. Let's research. We don't find Ordinary Rod, but I do find Raikou V can do it. All right, here we go. Quick ball. Raikou V, baby. They didn't even see it coming. They didn't even know. Raikou V about to take this one home. And that's GG's. Lightning box. Taking the dub. That's what I'm talking about right there, folks. We are up first against a Radiant Greninja. We've got Snorlax in the active and a Stellar opening hands. We've got Stormy Mountains. Go get some more. Mareep out. Love that. We can... Hmm. I kind of like going for a big Gorman dies. Yeah, that seems sick. Honestly, Gormandai is such a powerful way to start off the game. That's why I love having this card in the Flaffy Box decks. Because you really want to be able to attack on turn two, but sometimes that's difficult when you can't support her turn one. But Gormandai basically allows you to play a supporter card turn one, which is obviously extremely strong in this deck and since we're playing four scoop up nets to be able to heal our zekroms when they damage themselves from paralysis i feel like the gormandai snorlax is just a natural inclusion in the deck since we're already running four scoop up nets with an air balloon you can retreat this thing in a pinch looks like i'm up against vicavolt all right, Vicavolt V can use Paralyzing Bolt to item lock me, which is not great. But I think that we can do this even without items, so long as I don't put any two prizers in play. If I can just set up my board and avoid putting two prizers out... I think we'll be all right. It's also possible that my opponent misses the turn one item lock. It's possible. Maybe not super likely, but if they do miss the turn one item lock, I'll be in a... Nope, they didn't. So here we go. Paralyzing Bolt. That Snorlax is definitely sticking around right there. And I'm not going to be doing too much. Yeah, we're probably just chilling. We can go get a Zekrom, but they have a lot of switches in their deck. So Zekrom's probably not very good. Let's get Mareep. Let's attach an energy to Snorlax. I can Serena to discard these item cards and lightning energy out of my hand to draw some. We do find a Flaffy. That's nice. I can Dynamotor extra lightning energy onto Snorlax. And will Gormandize for a draw of three. 
boss's orders is quite good will allow me to target down the Pokemon that I want when I start attacking with Snorlax item lock is definitely very tough for this deck to deal with though we like to be able to pivot our guys in and out of the active spot really like to have a free retreater in play we could use air balloon to turn any of these Mareep or Flaffy into a free retreater but without them it's a little bit tough 180 damage is a little bit short of the number we want to be hitting against this Vikavolt. But we can clean that up with Reggie Alecki later in the match. So they're going to take the knockout. That's fine with me. I mean, that's cool. Now it's time to swing with Snorlax. Now I do need this Snorlax to wake up. That's for sure. Let's get Stormy Mountains. I think... Yeah, we want to start powering up Reggie Lucky. And then Marnie. Cool, got some cards that I cannot play. That's fine. But I can attach an energy. And we'll Thumping Snore for 180 damage. Now if the Snorlax wakes up... Poo! Now you're in trouble, right? Now you're in trouble because Snorlax went and woke up. That's right. You thought he was going to stay asleep. But then Snorlax woke up. And now you need to ask yourself, do I want a paralyzing bolt for whatever, 60, 110 damage? Does not knock out my Snorlax? Or do you want to take the knockout with Super Zap Cannon and break your item lock? Neither of those seem like great options. So I'm betting that they are going to need to two-hit KO my Snorlax, which means that Snorlax is going to be able to take out one of these Vikavolts. That seems pretty good for me. Now they're thin in their deck. I want to keep track of how many switch cards they have down. They're probably going for boss's orders this turn, trying to Crobat for two. I mean, that's a pretty greedy draw. They must really want something. But they have to just Paralyzing Bolt the Snorlax for 110 damage. Which is fine by me. A little Thumping Snore this thing. Take my two prizes, gladly. We don't find anything that we can use, unfortunately. Which is tough, because I need a Lightning Energy or something to continue attacking. And my opponent putting water energy on the Radiant Greninja is also quite bad because now I'm in a spot where I'm just, yeah, I'm, I am stuck. All right, I need my items, man. I'm having a bad time. Promote Reggie Alecki. Okay, we find research. Saved. This is fine. We can do this now. We can do this. We can do this. So. How do I do this? We can do this, though. <laughs> we're going to put Zekrom down, and we're going to research. We find boss's orders and a lightning energy, and I do not find any more Flaffies. So what I can do is... I think I just have to Dynamotor to the Zekrom. But... Huh. Then I retreat the Regieleki. I could Static Shock for 20... That's, like, not the worst thing in the world because then it gives me another turn, whereas if I retreat into Zekrom, then they knock out the Zekrom, then I don't have an attacker. So I think I think I just hang out here. And I Static Shock. I think that's okay. So we're going to do that. I know that seems weird, but we need to get more energy into play first. 
because if I leave myself with no free retreater, uh, I'm in a really bad spot. So I need to accumulate more energy and they have four seal stones, so I know they're not getting stuck. They could use it to, they're powering up this Radiant Greninja. That's terrible. So I, I got to knock this thing out for sure. If they go Radiant Greninja, oh, this is terrible. Yeah, this is, well, they're taking a knockout. Okay, so never mind. So now I can knock out the Radiant Greninja. They're going to three prizes. I do this. I definitely don't want to have to knock out this Radiant Greninja, but I feel like I have to. Okay, so we're gonna boss up the Radiant Greninja. Don't feel like I want anybody else on board right now. Terra Spark seems kind of bad. I don't wanna like just leave my dude so vulnerable out there. Huh. I've only got one Dynamotor. So I feel like I kind of have to. That's fine. We'll get this guy thin the deck. Dynamotor. And let's Terra Spark. And I guess the dream is to get a three prize knockout on the Regieleki. So that's what we're going to do. All right. That's how we win with Raichu, which is why we put the Raichu in here. You need to be able to do stuff like this. You have to in order to be able to win, right? So we're going to do that. And we're saying, okay. Thank you, Dizzy Nitrum, for that tier one sub in the seven months. Appreciate you, Dizzy. Thank you. Yeah, so that's what we're going for. Three prizes on the Reggie Alecki. 270. I could Serena it up. They're going to knock out a Flaffy again. That's turbo annoying. But it's fine. They have anything they want out of the deck with. Huh. Yeah, I think I just lose, but... I think I like have to try and do this, but I'm pretty sure that I'll lose because of it. It's just such a terrible matchup not being able to play item cards. Ugh! Yeah, that's GG's. They go lightning, boss. Yeah, Melon. Oh, never mind. Never mind. What? Okay. I still don't think I can win. No, I still can't win. Well, okay, if I top deck a lightning energy, I win. What are you doing? All I have to do is top deck light or a crowbat. Okay, all right, I'm about to win. Let's do this thing. Come on. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> You're out of here. That's right. You didn't think. You didn't think I had it like that, did you? Goodbye. GG's, GG's. That about wraps it up for the Dynamotor Toolbox deck. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers, but I'm not quite there yet. And I need your help to get there. So if you could click that subscribe button, that would be sick. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a good one. See ya.